tāds 30 metru garš Ukrainas karoks tika izretināts pie Eiropas parlamenta Briselē. Lai gan cilvēku nebija daudz, tomēr klātasošajiem bija ļoti skaidra apņemšanās. I feel like we're still not doing enough. We give enough to Ukrainians to survive, but not enough to win. And I feel like I don't want to come again on the 24th of February next year. I want this to, to be over. We're super worried about uh, our future of our country, of Ukraine, of our family. Uh, Un Ukraiņas atbalstīti bija atnākuši arī citi eiropieši. Ukraina vajag palikt stipri un vajag uzvarēt pret Krieviņu. Viņi ne, nedrīkst saudāt. Jā, yeah, it's heavy. Um, I mean, the saddest thing that is that we here in Europe are in danger of, of forgetting that people are dying there every day. And we have to help them so much more than we have been doing so far. I think we are doing as much as we can in the Baltic states, but I think we can do more together with our partners in the West. And when, you, when you look back and you look at Russia as a superpower that is fighting in Ukraine from 2014, and it has gained 18% of the Ukrainian territory, I would be also a little bit of optimist. Tikpat rūpīgi karoks arī pēc tam tika saretināts, cerot, ka nākamreiz to izdosies pacelt plīvojot priecīgākā dienā – Ukrainas uzvaras dienā. Ilze Nagla, Latvijas televīzija.